Good morning, everyone. I'm Erica Carnegie, and I'm one of the ambassadors for the Girls Who Brunch Tour. Today, I'm going to be reading two books. I hope you're excited. My first book is Do You Speak Fish? Shout out to my favorite birthday buddy, Kendall, who I'm reading some of her favorite books. I'm going to start by reading Do You Speak Fish? A boy ran into a fish. He said, hello fish, but the fish didn't reply. Hello, hey fish, I'm talking to you. But the fish just looked at him. How rude, the boy said, and walked away. The boy ran into a lion. He said, hello, lion but the lion just ignored him. Hey lion, don't be rude. I'm talking to you, the boy screamed. was a bad idea. The boy ran into a bee. He said, hello bee. The bee didn't say anything. The boy threw his hands in the air and yelled, What's your problem, B? You guys think he's angry? I think he's a little bit angry. That was a bad idea, too. The boy walked by a tree. Hello there, the tree said. The boy was surprised. He didn't expect the tree to say anything. Hello to all our new friends who just joined. Did you just say hello? The boy asked. It would be rude not to, said the tree. I agree. The fish was very rude. She just ignored me. Well, do you speak fish? The tree asked. Why would I speak fish? I'm a boy. Why would the fish speak boy? She's a fish, the tree said. Everyone should speak boy. That's the way it is. Not for a fish. The tree explained. Wait, I understand.
understand you, the boy pointed out. I learned boy from a frog, the tree replied. Well, I don't speak fish, the boy snarked. I can teach you, the tree offered. You speak fish too? A carrot taught me, the tree replied. Well, I'm flipping the page. Another shout out to my birthday buddy, Kendall, who's watching today. I'm reading some of her favorite books. The tree and the boy just looked at each other. Does he look a little confused? Kidding, I'm kidding, the tree laughed. Everyone knows carrots can't talk, silly boy. So the tree taught the boy to speak fish. The boy went back to the fish and said, hello fish. Except this time, it sounded more like blub, 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 blub. The fish smiled and said, blub, blub, blub. Suddenly, the fish didn't seem so rude. Well, thank you. It is a nice day out, the boy replied. Bloop, bloop. So long. The boy went back to the lion. Roar! Growl! Grrr! The lion looked at him, confused. Then he burst out laughing so hard that he fell backwards with his legs in the air. The boy looked puzzled. He wasn't sure if what he said came out right. Maybe it was better, but he didn't know. Then the boy ran into the bee again. He didn't try to talk to her. He was too embarrassed from what happened with the lion. Hello, the bee suddenly said. Stunt, the boy replied. Um, hello, you speak boy? A little bit, a fish just taught me. Was she an orange fish, the boy asked the bee? Why yes, she was. She said a boy was kind enough to learn fish, so she thought she should try to learn to speak boy. A tree taught her. That made the boy happy. From then on, the boy, the bee, the fish, and the lion would sit by the tree each day and share stories. Sometimes they would speak boy, sometimes they would speak fish, or bee, or lion. They never misunderstood each other again. The 
N. My next book I'm going to read is called Don't Push the Button. Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only rule. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. Seriously, don't even think about it. It does look pretty nice though. Maybe you should give the button one little push. Ah, now I'm yellow. Push it again. yellow and polka dot. Poke it twice. Do you guys want to push it? You guys can push it. Go. Push it. Push it. Ack! Now there's two of me. Push it a bunch of times. This time I'll push it. Push, 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 push. Uh oh. Look what we did. There's so many. Almost. A little more. Do you guys think we should push it again? No? Maybe? We'll push it one more time. Push. Oh man, nothing happened. Okay, there we go. It says to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal. Can we scratch his tummy? He he he, that tickles. Okay, much better. Let's not push the button again. We did push it a lot of times, right? Are we supposed to? But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple more pushes? I don't think we should push it anymore. The end. So, both books that I read, I read Do You Speak Fish? And I read Don't Push the Button. I hope you guys enjoyed both of those. I loved reading with you so, so much. And if you get bored, you can read another book, or you can go on a walk, or you can ride your bike, or a scooter, or go swimming. There's lots of things to do to keep you busy and to have fun. It's so much fun reading with you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!